Welcome to the good, the bad, and the wordy. Today's word is knacket. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, the Scottish noun knacket has two meanings. It can be a mischievous or bratty boy, or it can be a light lunch resembling a pasty. Yum. Here's a little information for you in case you've not been introduced to the magic of the pasty. They can be sweet, like a pumpkin pasty, or they can be savory, like Cornish pasty. According to Cornish Pasty Association .co .uk, aka my new favorite website, the Cornish pasty is a national treasure, and there are rules. The crust on the outside can be a short crust or a puff crust, and the edges must be crimped. If it's not crimped, it's not Cornish. The ingredients for the filling are as follows. Roughly diced or minced beef, sliced or diced potato, turnip, onion, and seasoning to taste. No meat other than beef may be used. No other vegetables may be substituted. Considering the entire pasty as a whole, at least 12.5% of it must be beef, and 25% of it, the vegetables. The rest of it can be the magical, delicious, buttery crust. How did we go from Scotland to England all of a sudden? Because pasties. Let's go back to Scotland. So how can we tie in both meanings of the word knacket? Which one of you wee knackets nicked my knacket? <laughs>